Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another Pro Tip Tuesday. And today, I'd like to tell you how to keep those expensive hunting boots looking new. 14 years old, I'm still using them. You look after your boots, your boots will look after you. Stay tuned, I'm gonna teach you some things to know about your boots. Okay, YouTubers, today what I've got for your pro tip, how to take care of your boots. These boots I've had for 14 years. Um, they don't owe me nothing. Uh, they're Bates, Gore-Tex boots. I just had a brand new Vibram sole put on the bottom of them, as you can see there. Uh, I haven't even had them out yet. So uh, I just got them back from the cobbler, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Give them a good treatment of boot grease or boot wax. This here just happens to be uh, money's worth and best. No specific uh, ties to a brand or anything here. I think pretty much this day and age, uh, this stuff's all pretty much on par with, uh, with what everybody's doing. But here's the big trick. This is one thing I like to do. I like to take my wife's hair dryer. And I'll go all over that boot and warm it up. I've already done this one just for demonstration purposes and to stop you guys from having to hear all the noise. But if you take a nice bit of this, I call it boot grease, and you put it on and you just spread a whole bunch of it all over your boot like such. Don't worry about getting it in the nooks and crannies. One thing I will recommend is to take your laces out so you can get in around those because that those type of areas will hold moisture and it just allows you to get the get the rag in there with that grease on there more get it all down in here where anywhere's where water could lie you don't want water to lie in your boots and your cracks or anything like that so i get all up over your your boot laces go in scrub it all around and that boot's warm so it's real easy to work that that wax or boot grease into the into the leather and then after I get a nice bit on there and it's I got enough to work with all over the whole boot well then I'll start going in and I'll work the areas really get my uh, get my fingers and elbow grease into that I'll do this in hunting season or when I'm wearing the boots quite often, I'll, uh, I'll do this at least, at least once every two weeks. I like to keep on my boots. Um, leather boots are a bit of a maintenance as opposed to rubber. I'm not a big fan of rubber boots. They're great for, uh, for getting rid of your, your, your scent and stuff like that, but I prefer the leather. Gore-Tex boots are great. Um, so then after I get that all on there, folks, what I'll do is I'll take the hair dryer again and I'll run that all over the boot and you'll see that boot grease or that wax start to melt and it'll just kind of run into the cracks or crevices and all that stuff. And that's really what you want. You want that boot protected from water. Anywhere water will go, it will just bead off. And that's essentially what you want. So today, folks, Look after your boots. If the sole starts to get wore out, take them into the cobbler. This cost me $70 for a whole new pair of Vibram soles put on the bottom of my boots. So, 14 years. That's your pro tip for this Tuesday. Got a tattoo on my chest to remind me of my dreams. Spend every day I could in the field or in the stream. Fly around, that's all that I got. Flat mattress.